And please, once again, will you give it up for my dear friend, Kristen Marlin. So, it changed my life, this song, because honestly, I felt like this was a turning point. And the turning point for me was auditioning for The Voice. You know that program, right? And I realized that to get something I never had, I had to do something I'd never done. So, this was a song that helped to change my life. And it's true, y'all, because you gotta get back up and you gotta try and try. Right, you know it, I watch this. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. that is, is not on any album, it's just a song I did and I did it before, you know, you guys probably knew me but I love this song because I think so often we are told what we can't do and we're told about the troubles of the world which is of course important and we need to know but we also need to know our potential and we need to know that anything is possible because I believe oh. that and I'm living proof of that a little Jamaican girl is here tonight in Boston singing in front of an amazing group of people <laughs> I want you to believe, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, go after them because you are possible, all right? And I can know this song, somebody yeah. know this song, yeah. I want you to sing it with me, all right? Let's go. Yeah. Let it go, let it go, let it go. 
If you want to tell them, you know, spread the word to your friends, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> but <clears throat> what I love about this song is that I wrote it, or it was written with an amazing bunch of writers, with all of you in mind. Because there's no way I could do this, there's no way I could be here tonight if it wasn't for you. And you don't know this, but even when I'm having a bad day or if I'm having a tough day, I'll go on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook and there's something there that helps me to keep going. And I thank you for that. And this is why we call this song Lifeline, because you really are a lifeline for me. And I dedicate it to you tonight.
Tina Turner. That's a Tina Turner put it on me. That's a good guy. Oh no, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Maybe the voice broke all over again. This next song is a song I love too. It's also off of my album and what I want you to do for me right now is any stress that you may be having, any kind of problem, any kind of niggling feeling, any kind of drama, <laughs> leave it at the door because we are here to entertain you tonight. It is our great pleasure and honor to do so. And I want you to remember that no matter how stressful or how hard or how down a day may get, there is always tomorrow. So we look forward to that, right? Let's go. actually sang on the voice too and I think this song has such a wonderful message and a message that we still need to hear today and 
I'd like to dedicate this song to the moms in the audience. And the reason I want to dedicate this song to the moms in the audience is because I know my mommy, for me, no matter how far away she is, even over the phone, my mother can build a bridge for me in her words and her prayers and everything that she does for me. So sometimes someone builds a bridge for us and sometimes we are the bridge for somebody else, right? So this one is for you.
Still hold my breath when I hear 
next song and my first initial reaction was mm -mm. <laughs> don't want to do that song not doing it but you know what the reason was because I didn't love this song because I do it's because a person that sang this song is still to me the most even though she's gone the voice she is a voice there's no comparison so for me I'm gonna do this song as Tessan tonight in tribute to her in an acoustic style but I want you to know that I dedicate this song to you because like I said before, and I cannot say it enough, there is no way I could be on the stage without each and every single one of you supporting us, voting for us, calling your family members to put us through. Oh, we appreciate it. I love you. Thank you very much.
guys ever heard of a dubstep song in, in acoustic yet? Good, because you're going to hear one now. I love this song. Every time I sing this song, it makes me happy because it reminds me that every day I'm one step closer to fulfilling my dreams. Every day I'm one step closer to getting to my goals, right? And you should remember that too. I don't know about you, Boston, but I believe my best is ahead of me, not behind me, right? So this one is called One Step Closer and I want you to sing it if you know it tonight and if you don't sing it then. my job the best job in the world and everything from tonight is going to remind me of Boston so everything reminds me of you if y'all know this on the way of
Started from the bottom, now we're going. <laughs> but um, this next song is gonna be our last song, and I have to say, I have to say that a lot of you, I don't know how many of you know me from The Voice. I'm very glad for you to be here tonight. But before I was on The Voice, I had a, I, I sang in Jamaica and in the Caribbean, and that was how. I made a living for myself, right? That's how I fed myself. And this song was the first song that brought me out as an artist. And I have to sing it on every show because it's my roots, it's where I'm coming from. And I can't ever deny that and ignore because that's what brought me here in the first place. So if this is your first time hearing it, thank you for coming, thank you for supporting me, for continuing to support me. I love you, God bless you. And for those who know it, sing it out. Love you, girl. Love you too. Thank you so much. It's been an awesome night, boss, and I'll never forget this. That's a good awesome now. <laughs> Oh, what you do? 
simply because this is where I started my career and um, it's my little way of paying tribute to so thank you so much again. Oh. Mm -hmm. 